This is a quick video, where we discuss, what privatization is. And we will also list some of the reasons, why the government privatizes, some of its services, operations, businesses, and properties. Welcome back, to Public Administration 101, Quick Lesson Edition. Proudly brought to you by, Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust, as indicated. In this video, we will discuss, what privatization is. We will then list, our seven reasons, why the government privatizes, its services, operations, properties, and businesses. But before we get into today's video, if you are watching this on YouTube, we would like to remind you, to please check out our other videos on public administration, under this channel. And don't forget to like this video, and subscribe for more content. Now, let us get into today's video, by first defining, what privatization is. Privatization, is the process of transferring services, operations, and assets, owned by the public sector, which is the government, to the private sector. Essentially, privatization occurs when, government-owned businesses and properties, as well as, government services and operations, are transferred to, and sometimes owned by, a private, non-government party. So, which types, of government assets, services, and operations, can be privatized? It is safe to say that, there are many types of government services and operations, as well as, government-owned assets, institutions, and facilities, which can be privatized, and have been, privatized. These includes, and not limited to, the following. Correctional services and prisons. Public schools and universities. Healthcare and hospitals. Roads and highways. Airports and harbors. Communication infrastructure. Public services, such as water, electricity, waste disposal, mail delivery, etc. There are various reasons, why governments turn to privatization. In this next section, we list our seven reasons, why some governments, elect to privatize their services, operations, properties, assets, institutions, and facilities. Cost reduction, is often one of the motivations, for privatization. Governments often outsource operations, due to the potential of saving costs. The government would therefore, have the private sector incur some of the costs. Particularly, when the government is facing financial challenges. The desire to transfer risk from the public sector, to the private sector, can also lead to privatization. Governments often desire to transfer risks of certain projects, to the private sector. By contracting out for certain services, the public sector is then able, to transfer the risks associated with those services, to the private sector. Another rationale for privatization could be, as a new source of revenue. The sale or lease of public assets, can be used as a new revenue source. The privatization of toll roads, government businesses, buildings, and other properties can therefore, be forms of new sources, of revenue. The quality of service provided, can also be a reason for privatizing a service, or an asset. The private sector may be able to provide a higher level of service, for a similar cost. Governments may be looking for a higher level of service, but cannot provide it by themselves. The private sector may therefore, be able to meet the level of service desired, without raising costs. The lack of expertise within the government is another reason, for privatization. The private sector may be able to have expertise, that government does not wish to, or cannot even afford to provide, in-house. These kinds of services are often needed so rarely, that it does not make financial sense, for the government to maintain staff, with these skills. The time frame required to complete a project, can also lead to privatization. In certain situations, the government may have the skills to complete a project, but they may not be able to complete it within the desired time frame. 
due to a lack of resources, or even time. Therefore, the private sector can supplement government's efforts and ensure that the project keeps to the timelines. The final potential reason for privatization is the flexibility provided by the private sector. The government is often restricted in their operations as a result of their highly regulated environment. The government may therefore elect to privatize some of their operations due to the flexibility of the private sector in how they operate. We've come to the end of this video. So, thank you for watching. Please take time to check out our other videos on public administration and public finance under this channel, where we discuss various topics relating to public administration, as well as public management and the management of the public sector, including the running of government. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. And remember to turn on the notification button to make sure that you don't miss out when we post new videos. You can also connect with us by following us on social media at Consult Carno and continue the conversation by leaving us a comment below or tagging us on social media using the hashtag Consult Carno. Thank you again for watching. Join us again next time for another video. Until then, check out these other videos. Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.